Headline edition, July 8, 1947. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. They look something like a, a pie plate that was cut in half with a sort of a convex triangle in the rear. I think it's time to open the books uh, on, on uh, questions that have remained in the dark, on the, on the question of, of government investigations of, of UFOs. It's time to find out what, what the truth really is that's out there. Uh, we ought to do it really because it's right. We ought to do it because the American people, quite frankly, can handle the truth. And we ought to do it because it's the law. Major sighting here on the 13th of March. Weird happenings in the skies over Phoenix recently. And no one seems to be able to explain what it was. And now... Suddenly six amber orbs in a row, totally equidistant from each other, a massive span across, pop up. People say they saw strange lights. series of strange bright lights seen over the skies of Arizona gets a lot of people wondering what the heck. Is. There's going to be a time where they're not going to be able to hide it anymore. The availability of witnesses was extraordinary. There are another 10,000 Arizonans who saw the same thing. Eyewitnesses who saw it say it's like nothing they've ever seen before. Many investigators call it the largest sighting ever, lasting the longest amount of time seen by the largest number. The data speaks for itself. Plus, I have photographs that cannot be explained or denied. Last night, shortly after 8 p.m., hundreds, maybe thousands of Arizonans reported seeing a triangular-shaped object where three to thousands of people saw more than stars in the night sky. The mystery remains unsolved and controversial. The people who saw the lights will say the lights were orange, they were bright, and they were big, and they were like nothing they've ever seen before. And there's been no official explanation. The bigger question is not, is there a phenomenon, but what is this phenomenon? I'm learning that this is happening worldwide. What's going on here? What is this? Mexican Air Force pilots capturing on videotape what are said to be 11, count them, 11 UFOs. Unidentified flying objects. They are officially there. Bright objects, some sharp points of light moving quickly across the sky. The tape called historic by some. Members of the Mexican Defense Department saying it's the first time UFOs have had the backing of any country's armed forces. Now, a group of activists calling on the United States government to end what it says is an embargo on the truth about extraterrestrial life. What is that thing on your screen? With us now from Washington is Stephen Bassett, founder and executive director of the Extraterrestrial Phenomenon, uh, Phenomena Political Action Committee. Last time he was here, he was running for Congress, was un unsuccessful in that venture. But I will ask you today, sir, the Mexican government, the Mexican military says, hey, we took these pictures, these are UFOs. Um, what was that, you know? This is significant for two reasons, uh, Shepard. Uh, one, this is released by, by the Defense Ministry of Mexico. This is a message being sent to the United States government that uh, Mexico and many other governments are losing patience with our government's intransigence in ending this embargo. Uh, other messages have been sent by France in uh, 1999 with the Cometa report and by the United Kingdom when they released a substantial number of documents regarding the Bentwaters case in 2000. Many countries know about the extraterrestrial presence, but they deferred to the United States with, uh, with regard to the timing of when disclosure would take place. But they're simply losing patience. How do we know this, by the way? Well, we know it by paying attention. I've been following this now for 10 years. We call it the politics of disclosure, the disclosure process. Hundreds of government witnesses in this country have come forward, uh, and other governments are putting pressure on our government. The media hasn't covered it thoroughly enough, Shepard. If it did, it would learn about some of the things I'm mentioning here, and also learn about thousands of other videos and photographs that have been taken over Mexico by Mexican citizens there's, since 1991. There's absolutely no question about that, and his number, thousands, is accurate since 1991. Thousands of pictures and videotapes of discs, but never anything like this taken by such sophisticated cameras on board military vehicles. Oh, there's been plenty of... But not, of, not as clear and widespread as this and government confirmed in this way. I'm just saying that these are unusual. In that oh, no, way. it's happened many times before, but this is the first time it's been released. Believe me, there is evidence like this in the archives of every major first world government in the country, but they release this publicly in a news conference uh, in Mexico City. That's the difference.
Studies have been done that, quote, clearly indicate the likelihood of an extraterrestrial explanation. But there are people sitting out there, I'm hoping there are millions of people watching at the moment, who are saying, this is nutty. Why, you know, why, why do we even talk about such things? The polls show otherwise, Shepard. Uh, CNN time, Reuters polls, last 10 years, consistently. 50% of all Americans believe the extraterrestrial explanation accounts for these sightings. Up to as many as 90% of Americans believe the government is outright lying. Uh, the polls are unambiguous. Year after year, the same thing. In fact, if you could talk anonymously to people, even in Congress, probably 50% of members of Congress already confirmed, convinced that the extraterrestrial presence explains this phenomena. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close, and the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. All right. Well, there you have it. Perhaps we need some outside universal threat. I occasionally think how quickly our differences worldwide would vanish if we were facing an alien threat from outside this world.
Now, incidentally, in the 1940s, when they conducted Gallup polls, um, they had sections on UFOs, what is a UFO? And it was usually categorized as secret American technology or secret technology from another country or something like that. There was never a category that can, said it was, you know, races from uh, another planet. But by the 1950s, there was. And you can almost find on a graph that it, the amount of people that now believe that there is life elsewhere in the universe has increased by about 10% per decade. And what's happening is our culture is changing as a result of two things. Evolution, particularly cosmic evolution, if you want to call it that, and science fiction. In fact, the Gallup polls in the recent years show that in most Western countries, between 70 to 80 percent of the general population believe that there is extraterrestrial life somewhere out there. Next question. Now we're getting down to the juicy stuff. Aliens must be able to travel vast distances. Well, here's my favorite, the next generation Star Trek laugh. But here we go, he's got to travel, they've got to travel at warp speed. Warp is faster than light. Light speed is 300,000 kilometers per second, right? You've got to travel much faster than that to get around the universe. In fact, if Einstein's right, it'd actually be impossible to travel even at light speed. Now, uh, just think about what I'm going to say for a minute because it's a bit mind-bending. Because to travel at light speed, you require, a, your, your mass becomes infinite and you require an infinite amount of energy. You'd have to have all the available energy in the universe at your disposal to travel at light speed. Sounds freaky, but that's basically the problem. So they come up with ideas of warp space, they create bubbles in the space-time continuum and travel on those. And science fiction to the rescue. <laughs> 